talk about business plans and financials and pro formas in a little while, you'll see how you get to that number. But it's really important to know how much money do I have to start the business? Not how much does it cost to buy the pots and pans and the delivery truck and all this. You have to think about all of the other things that can put it in. Well, am I an entrepreneur? Uh, I, I would bet if I asked for show of hands, everybody would probably raise their hand in some, some fashion that we all we all have some entrepreneur spirit and we probably wouldn't be here. But an entrepreneur is defined as one who pursues opportunity beyond the resources currently controlled. Uh, a lot of this is wordsmithing stuff, but a person who sees opportunity and creates an organization to pursue it, a dreamer who attempts to turn an idea into a profitable reality, anyone who assumes the risk and responsibility for starting and managing a business, anyone who takes the risk of starting a business for the purpose of making a profit. There's one commonality in all of those statements, and it's one, A, A, anyone, anyone. They're all singular. And what is very important for anybody who is an entrepreneur or is considering us to be an entrepreneur, it's you. It's not a we, it's not a they, it's a me. So entrepreneurs are lone wolves. They're singular people. They have a different way of looking at life. I am one. We're all nuts. People that start businesses are a little cracked. We're different, think differently. Uh, we look at opportunity instead of security. I know that makes my wife crazy, but I, I look at opportunity. I look at it all the time. I, you know, first, uh, when we moved to Florida 19 years ago, I came home and said, hey, I just quit my job. I'm starting this company in Orlando. And you know, I left a pretty good paying job and managed 85 people and I came home and, you know, Two weeks later, there was no direct deposit on that paycheck. And, you know, it was scary, but I, I knew that that opportunity was there. So where well, my dearly beloved wife was thinking about security, I, I was looking at opportunity. Results ahead of routine. I, if I had to have to do the same thing over and over again every day, I would probably lose my mind. But I look at results. What am I going to do today to make the world a better place, to make money, whatever my goals are for that day? I look at profit instead of paycheck. Again, entrepreneurs think this way. Who knows, uh, everybody collecting a paycheck right now? Okay, you're all probably taxed at 28, 29%, 30%. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurs think about profit, because profits are taxed at 15%. Or distributions, or cash, and <laughs> we do all kinds of fun stuff. But we think about profits, not paycheck. I don't want to make the same money every day. I want to know that there's a big score out there. And I, I always talk to my kids about this. You know, The only way to accumulate wealth in this world is to get big chunks of money. You can get paychecks. You can go out and get a job. It, it's, it's tough out there now. But you know, the way to accumulate wealth, wealth defined is in whatever fashion you choose it to be. But wealth comes from getting big chunks of money. The only way to get big chunks of money is to own stuff. You know, if you've ever read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, that's the whole premise of that book owning stuff. Equity is what it's all about. But that's what entrepreneurs think about. They don't think about, well, gosh, if I buy that business, I can make $38,000 a year. They don't think that If I make that business and I sell it, I'm going to make $150,000 a year, and three years from now, I'm going to flip it for half a million dollars, and I'll go buy six more, and then that's the way most entrepreneurs think. We like to try new ideas instead of avoiding mistakes. Wow. I can't tell you how many times people, well, you know, the they do everything they can to talk them out, themselves out of an idea. You know what? There's risk. You got to take it. So I'll, I'll try new ideas all the time. I, I, when I, whenever I'm looking at business stuff, I set a dollar threshold. I'm willing to try that event venture up to this threshold, and I'm going to do everything I can to make it work. But once I get past there, I know I've expended my capital, and it's time to uh, to, to change the focus. But I want to try new ideas. I don't want to avoid mistakes. Mistakes are for people that just sit home and watch TV. So uh, we talk about vision instead of short-term gain. Uh, we think about uh, prospects of gain for our family. How, how do we impact the other people around us? Uh, I, I, tremendous entrepreneur. Uh, uh, he, he passed away three weeks ago. I went to his funeral, and, and there was a 1,000 people. This guy, Bob Garrett, from 
past president of chamber, very active guy, but very philanthropic, gave back so much to the community. But he was a visionary, and, and, he, and he helped people. And he was never thinking about a paycheck or a short term thing. He was always investing in businesses and companies and doing stuff. But uh, he had great vision. And uh, these are people that uh, and end up with a very wealthy guy. Well, what are the advantages of being an entrepreneur? Hey, you get freedom, independence. Um, I love being an entrepreneur because if I don't want to work today, I don't want to work. If I want to work my shorts tomorrow, I'll work my shorts tomorrow. I don't, I'm not beholden to anybody. Um, and, I, and I like the freedom and the independence of being an entrepreneur. I have control over a major aspect of your life. What's the one thing that we do most of our adult life? We work. So why wouldn't I want to have control over it? I want to control what I do and I want to try to make it fun. I want to make it financially possible to make lots of money, but I want to control what I have an outlet for creativity. Uh, you know, part of being an entrepreneur and, and the fun of owning your own business is being able to try stuff, create and build something. And when you get to that point where your business is successful and you go to work and you put your chest out and say, you know what, that's me. I built that. That's my company. It's, it's, it's a powerful, powerful emotion that you that can't underscore enough. It's exciting. You, it's a great sense of satisfaction, a sense of achievement. You get self-esteem. You go, oh, that's the guy or gal. They own that business. And oh, they're this. And then you become known for your business. You have great flexibility in most cases. Um, <laughs> I love this one. It's job security. You own know, your own your own business. How can you have job security? Guess what? I can't be fired. Who's going to fire me? I'm the boss. I can't be laid off. I have job security. I have unlimited income potential. The only person that controls my outcome is me. So, uh, and I have the growth of initial monetary investment.